Hello traders, this is Orlando for Tradimo and uh, welcome to this week's uh, weekly market uh, breakdown and uh, and like uh, we do every single week we are going to be looking at, at all major currency pairs gold and uh, the US dollar so let's start by looking at the US dollar right let's uh, click it here and uh, let's have a big look at the uh, DXY which is the the, the uh, US dollar uh, index all right so um, last week we um, we saw the uh, DXY surge from uh, the lows at 9580 uh, to the highs at around 9750 which is the 161.8 percent uh, extension of the, of the first leg of the move up which is a very strong bullish target right uh, but the thing about uh, how the DXY has moved is uh, this, the 97 level, right? So we went up all the way to the 97.50 level and then we retraced back to the 97 and uh, we thought that we were going to find real bulls here that were going to push price up, right? Or real uh, dollar buyers that were going to push price up and uh, break with the 97.50 level, which is the previous high at the 161.8 and retest the 97.70 level but it was not the case we actually made a lower high and then we retraced back again to the 97 level only to see uh, price on the DXY trade below right and now we are trading at the uh, around the 96.80 level below a big big level that uh, in my opinion turns a little turns um, my bias a little bearish on the US dollar and not because we are trading down because as you can see this is uh, this can be seen as a um, as a pattern right we are making some kind of a um, of a wedge here that might uh, be a continuation pattern to the upside uh, and uh, it, it actually looks uh, like a uh, it looks it actually looks very uh very good for a continuation pattern for a test track at the 9770 level but but the thing is that the uh, greenback is disappointing right i mean uh, all 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 that we hear around the us dollar is dovishness okay from the fed uh uh, changing its hikes outlook from zero I mean from uh, one to two hikes this year to zero this year and one in 2020 and the White House uh, pushing for uh, rate uh, cuts and um, and an increase of the asset purchasing program by the Fed so uh, we are what we're hearing uh, around the uh, the US dollar is very dovish and um, that is why I am very um, reluctant right now that uh, we might actually go and break the 9770 level, which will bring the new bullish market in the US dollar, right? So let me show you the daily chart again on the DXY. And as you can see, the 9770 level uh, is a huge, huge level that we have tested. Uh, that we have been testing for um, for months now. The last time that we tested it was uh, on March, uh, the beginning of March this year. But we tested it um, a couple of times um, late last year, and uh, we have where well, we have been making uh, low, uh, higher lows on the DXY, and this really looks like a continuation pattern. But again, until I see a break above the 97. 70 level i will not be completely bullish on the dollar right now let's go and uh, let's have a look at uh, the euro usd so uh because uh the euro us i mean because of the dxy guys is uh um because of the xy i mean because the dollar is looking uh, very weak we found here at this level that i showed you last week a bottom on the euro us dollar and as you can see uh, and if you follow my my market commentary you remember that i told you that this was a level where buyers are, were going to be placing that right and uh, we actually took a trade uh, at the break of uh, a, tra a long trade uh, uh, on the premium channel at the break of uh, this uh, 
a triangle, but uh, we got stopped out at break even on FOMC day, right? And uh, I know it wasn't FOMC day, it was uh, uh, um, during uh, the rate decision of the ECB and the Draghi speech, right? And we got stopped out uh, at break even, which is fine because uh, I mean, uh, uh, when Draghi speaks, uh, the market can become very volatile and uh, we were already in profits, but we were up, uh, I, I don't know, I think we were we were up around yeah 25 pips which which isn't that much really and I wanted to protect and uh, I mean I wanted to protect our trade and um, by moving my stops to break even yeah I got stopped out uh, before uh, the market turned but also I protected a, a trade in the way in I mean in the way that it didn't become a winner didn't become a loser so that's uh and uh yeah that's uh the euro us dollar so where's the next area that we are looking at and again the next area that we are looking at is right here this is a very strong area of, of resistance as you can see right here uh we tested it again and we have huge rejections at uh, this level uh and uh, we are looking again at the uh 114 level just let me just uh, change the coordinates here because this is the level that we are looking at it's the 114 level uh for a um um maybe for a break uh or a bounce or a short opportunity for the time being we remain uh, um flat on the euro us dollar because we're in the middle of uh, the move and uh if you are trying to get in on the middle of the move i mean it can turn it can turn um, uh, out or it can turn on you very quickly and the risk that you have to I mean just imagine this guys this is why we don't chase moves because if you go long here you would have to put your stops all the way down here which would mean that you would have a 74 pip stop loss for a possible what um for a possible 80 pip win so yeah it's a one-to-one -one, but the re i mean but the risk is huge so maybe i mean if we have uh let me just um zoom in this chart for you so maybe if we have um um let me just grab uh, the rectangle where is the rectangle here uh right here so maybe if we have a retracement to this area right to this prior area of uh or this prior base if we have a retracement here, I would think that this would be a very good uh, uh, opportunity to go long. Again, not my cup of tea, but if you're looking to buy the Euro US dollar right now, I, sh I would wait for a retracement to this area. But if you look at the past few candles, you can see, or, or, or the end of last week, we did have a big uh, retracement, not entirely to this area, but but we did have a retracement and then uh, a gap up on on Sunday. So uh, in my opinion, the move has the move is gone, and uh, uh, we missed it. But it's fine. There's a lot of trading opportunities. But we were, we are going to be looking at this. The 114 area is the area that uh, my our, or our area of interest right now uh, to maybe go short on the euro US dollar. Uh, because it is it has it has been trading in this big range all right so let's have a look at gold very interesting gold all right um cool so yeah uh very interesting uh price action in gold lately and the main reason that it that it has been very interesting is because if you look at the at the uh, at the uh, larger picture right uh, i mean i'm just gonna go to the daily chart and uh, of course i'm gonna do this if you look at the at the larger picture i mean this uh this uh uh channel that gold has been trading in looks a lot like a flag and if and uh, if we go with the calculated targets on flag on this flag i mean uh, we could be looking at uh if it breaks around this level we could be looking at a test of uh of the uh, 1390 level again. Again, this is just a simple calculation on a possible breakout of a possible flag. But I mean, if we go to the daily, this is what it looks like. Now let's go back to the four hour chart because I want to show you some, some big levels in gold or the levels that I, I'm actually looking at, right? Um, so 
Uh, last week we took a short, uh, but we were too uh, early on this short position, and sadly we missed this trade. Uh, was a, this was a slam dunk, uh, a slam dunk short. I mean, uh, uh, a test back of a previous base at the 61.8. You know, at the top of uh, of um, um, of this pennant, and boom! What do you know? Price just broke down. Uh, and uh, continue to um, to break below, but this is this is very interesting because it broke down for 180 pips, and if you take uh, if you take the the uh, the uh, volume of uh, of uh, this entire area, you can see that the point of control is right here at uh, at the uh, 1293 level. And that is exactly where price stopped, and and price rejected this level, right? It looked it looked like a very good strong opportunity, uh, a long opportunity, and uh, it was a very good uh, long opportunity. And uh, but sadly, price broke to the downside, and now it has continued to trade down. So this fib is no longer in play. So we're going to take it out. But the thing about this, guys, is that we are looking at this level, the 1282 level in gold. Now this is not only a very important base that we have tested and bounced from in the past but is uh, but the 1282 level it's not exactly the yearly open because uh, um if um I, I don't remember at what price did we open on january the first but it was around the 1282 level so this is a very important level and in my in, in my opinion if we break below the 1282 level we are going to be turning bearish in gold right um but uh if we go back to the um um to the uh to uh, to the begin of march you can see that here is we are going to find a lot of buyers so what are we going to do we are going to wait for gold to hit the 1282 level we are going to uh, look for some uh, um um some signs of um of a breakdown or a bounce and we are going to decide on a position for the time being we are going to remain long but uh but this week we are definitely going to be taking a, a trading gold and uh it will be around the 1282 level now if we break below the 1282 level i don't have uh levels assigned just yet but from the top of my chart not my mind uh maybe we are going to be looking at here right uh, around these levels the 1276 level again i have to do my analysis and i haven't done it yet but uh i mean if you're a premium member you're going to get it right away all right um but yeah the 1282 level is the level to be look uh, to be uh, looking at and uh, if we have a bounce and we break above this descending trend line of course that uh, we also need to break above the 1292 level and if we break above the 1292 level i think that uh, uh we are going to be looking for a test of the 13 level the 1300 level or the 1309 level so basically uh we might be looking at this um we might be looking at this if we break above and a retest here uh this is uh, this is uh, what could could happen if we bounce from the 1282 level again this is just this is not a prediction in price guys this is just um the levels that uh we are going to have to be breaking and retesting if we want to go higher in gold now let's move on and let's look at the uh, US dollar Japanese yen because the US dollar Japanese yen is at a very, very, very interesting level. Now, the 12th, uh, the, tw the, the 112 level, or the, the 112 level, I'm sorry, is a very strong level of resistance. And if you, if you see here, we, we open on, on, on Sunday with a gap down, then we fill the gap up and retested the highs of last week, and then we are, pre we are, trading down so basically right now we are looking for a um, a um, bounce from the 12 uh, from the 112 level and a retest of this trend line and maybe the 11080 level now this is this is the uh, actually this could be a little higher and uh, it would be the the one 
the 110.87-110.90 level that we are looking at and uh, if we break with this trend line we will be breaking with uh, this uh, up structure which will mean that we will be uh, continuing in a downtrend on the short to mid term and maybe retesting the 109.85 level uh, uh, which are the lows of March 25th. So. But basically right now, this is the level to be watching. And uh, uh, I mean, right now it is bouncing from, uh, we, I mean, to for a, a complete bounce to be confirmed, we need to break with the previous low uh, around 111.85. And uh, if we break with this previous low, we are, I mean, uh, this short opportunity has been confirmed and we are going to be taking it. Again, the signal has already been sent on the premium channel right here. And uh, if you are not a, um, a member, I'm going to leave you a, uh, a link on the description so you can take a one month trial. And as you can see, we are up 955 pips since inception. And uh, well, this uh, the first channel opened just uh, four weeks ago. So we average around 300 pips per week. All right, so let's continue and let's have a look at the British pound and the US dollar. Now, the British pound and the US dollar, um, but more more, um, more on the British pound side, uh, I don't know if you know this, but I mean, the EU gave uh, the UK an extension until October the 31st, I think, for them to get their... Uh, I mean, uh, for them to um, agree on a deal and uh, so they can exit the European Union in an orderly fashion. So basically Brexit news are over for the time being and uh, the GBP USD is trapped inside this very narrow range between the one third, the one uh, uh, 30 level and the 131 30 level right now uh, it is very likely that we are going to be breaking to the upside because of the price action that we are looking at uh, and let me just show you right uh, we are we are topping right here and we are making higher uh, lows I mean this kind of price action uh, uh, is very likely a break to the upside on this um, on this currency pair and if we break to the upside we are going to be breaking with this trend line which would mean that we could we could head even higher maybe to test uh, um, to test these levels right here let me just show you I'm just going to put a, a horizontal right right here so basically we could be testing the 132.30 level uh, the 132.30 132.30, 132.50 level if we break higher, but I mean, I really hate price action in the pound right now. Uh, this is not something that I would, uh, that I'm going to be watching a lot until we get some serious uh, sense of uh, uh, directionality because right now it's just uh, trading inside, I mean, uh, inside a very narrow range. And not only that, we are trading uh, very erratically. But again, the Brexit news are over for the time being. Uh, we're not going. To, well, I mean, we are not going to be hearing about uh, Brexit votes uh, and uh, the war within the, the UK Parliament uh, until they uh, decide or vote on, a, on on the actual deal. And uh, I mean, uh, the more the more we approach October the 31st, the more we are going to be hearing about it, of course. But for the time being, uh, the pound is going to be. Um, trading um, based on actual analytics and the US dollar weakness or strength right let's continue and let's have a look uh, at um, uh, let me just um, my charts are a bit messy so I'm going to well I'll do that later let's have a look at the US dollar Canadian dollar right I mean the US dollar Canadian dollar uh, as you can see is um, trading again inside a range Be uh, and this is a uh, let me just grab this uh, tool it's a, it's a 90 pip range again not a fan of price action right now but uh, if we manage to break with uh, well, well with this um, uh, with this trend line and with these lows we are again going to be testing the uh, 132 
or 133 level, 132.97 level, 133 level. Yeah, let me just um, round this up. We are going to be testing again the 133 level, but I mean uh, that would be just a 17 pip uh, move to the up downside. So basically, what I'm looking at is the 133 level again. I'm not. I'm, I'm not even looking at this trend line because it makes no sense. Uh, and as you can see, me, there's not too many um, levels that I'm watching on this currency pair because it's trading inside inside a, uh, such a narrow range. But again, I'm going to be looking at the 133 level for a possible bounce and a possible long opportunity on this on this currency pair because. And uh, if we have a uh, if if we, if I get a setup here on the 133 level, I'm going to be taking it because the risk versus the reward would be awesome. Uh, the risk will be uh, around the uh, 25 level and uh, 25 pips and the possible reward will be around 80 pips so yeah I mean it's it is a risk that I'm willing to take uh, on a uh, uh, better than the one to three uh, risk to reward ratio um, but again I need uh, directionality and uh, and uh, some signs of uh, um, bullish momentum around the 133 level on the US dollar Canadian dollar and um, uh, well this is it for this week's uh, weekly market breakdown guys again if you are not a premium member uh, I welcome you to take your um, where well, your um, uh, one month trial guys I'm going I'm giving you a one month trial to our premium uh, slack channel or premium community where you can take uh, I mean you can you will get trade ideas from me on the forex side but also you will get for the same price i mean uh, uh you will get uh, um trade uh, actual trades that um that matthias takes on the trading on, on the one hundred thousand dollar trading account and uh, the signals that you are gonna get from him are um all options on commodities so you will go i mean uh, in our premium community you are going to be getting a lot of added value not only signals from uh, Matthias or trade ideas from me but also all my analysis that I that I only share there so if you want to take a look just uh, click on the link below and I'll give you a one month trial